Hey guys, and welcome back to Metal Arms Glitch in the System. When we last left off, we had made it inside the mill space station, and things get pretty rough from here on out, I can tell you. Never mind, I'm sure we're up to the task. So, oh, straight off the bat, we have our friendly buddies here. Hey guys. What have you got for me today? Let's have a little look. Oh, okay, so they only have like ammo for sale, which actually is pretty cool because there's nothing else really that we need to spend our, uh, our money on. So I guess we could pick up some ammo. Why not? I mean, this money ain't going to spend itself. We do need to go into the second to last mission though with some money. Uh, which is a little bit cheeky, if you ask me, but hey, you know, each uh, load of ammo is only 10 bolts, which is plenty, or 10 washes, I guess. Uh, do we need coin charges? You know what would be cool? Is if it would actually tell you how much ammo you have for those weapons before you bought it. that I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to need as much ammo as we can because we, ladies and gentlemen, are about to find ourselves balls deep in flavor country. So, let's go. We're powered up. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready as we're ever going to be. It starts off lightly now. Oh boy. Yep. It gets pretty heavy in here. First thing we're going to do is take over a load of bots because we need them. Oh, we actually took over a few more than I thought. Yeah, these flying guys are literally going to be everywhere over here. And shields, yep, they like their shields. They're going to have shields everywhere. And they're going to have rocket launchers and all that good stuff. So we're going to hit them with everything we have. That flamethrower that dude's using has actually got quite the range on it. Funny enough. Alright, how are we doing? Yeah, it could be better. Another one of these assholes. Oh, dude. Just die. Thank you. Oh, well, that was chaotic, wasn't it? Well, we've barely started. <laughs> it's going to get a lot heavier from here on out, I can tell you. Let's get dosed up nicely. Now, this flame turret here, we don't really need to take it out, but considering we have access to almost unlimited health, we might as well. Oh, man. Taking way too many hits here. But it doesn't matter because we've got this dude here. There's like a full health over there. But I like to call those things atomic healths. They're not actually atomic healths, obviously. I mean, what do you think this is? Duke Nukem. But that's what I always think. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of guys down there. I'd like, really, to take over a couple more. Or maybe not take them over, but destroy a couple more of those flying guys. Ah, that stings. That stings. You know what? I think it's time to just go down there and face the music. Okay. Let's get rid of you before we do anything else. These flying dickheads are going to be the ones that do most of the damage to us. And unfortunately, they're going to be a thorn in our ass for pretty much the rest of the game. Uh, at least the next two levels for sure. Ow, I see you. I actually don't see you, which is worrying. Alright, let's destroy you. Ah, two more of them. Of course. Why wouldn't there be? Alright, well, let's cut these guys in half with the shotgun. Oh, God, another one. Of course there is. Ow. I don't know what you're laughing about, dude. You're about to get fucked. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, I haven't seen him fall down here before. <gasps> Sweet. That was nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, yes. Okay, well, that will do for now. Let's go. Shotgun time. Unfortunately, the shields really make those guys pretty tough to take out. But that's okay. 
and you can see just how quickly we drain through our ammo for that shotgun. It's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But that's okay. All of our weapons go through ridiculously fast now. Uh, there is that atomic health thing over there. I can't remember what they're called now. Mega health? Full health? Something like that. I'm going to take the spew ammo. We'll leave that there, but I don't think we're going to need it. I think we're going to move on without it. Now, there is a secret chip around here somewhere, and I think it's over here, if memory serves. I could be wrong. I'm usually wrong. Getting used to being wrong. No, it's over the other side, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. I see you. You ain't getting away from old glitchy. No way. Uh, we're definitely not going to get all of the chips in this run, that's for sure. I mean, I think we made that pretty obvious quite early in. Alright, let's get rid of you. Now, who's next? Another one of you, of course. Oh, man. Might be worth... Ah, dude. See how savage these guys are. Might be worth. Do we want to take this guy over? Ah, I feel like we're making a heavy decision here, but nah. Get rid of him. If we can hit him, ow! I mean, he can hit me. Kind of cheating, if you ask me. There we go. Yeah, there is a bit of a fuck factor on the last uh, second to last level, actually. Now. To defeat the main boss in this game, uh, at least the second time, you actually need money. Yeah, uh, we'll cover that when we get to it. But it's, uh, I mean, you, you, you. Well, it's pretty hard to imagine you not having enough money when you get there. But I mean, it's totally possible. Let's uh, just volley rockets at these guys. The good thing these guys never get shields, otherwise that would be really awkward. One down, two down. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Uh, I mean, we could take these guys over. I said, nah, we're gonna need our. We're gonna need as many of those uh, recruiter grenades as we can get in the coming battle ahead. So we can just use our rockets. Rather liberal. Are you really? Frickin' really? Get fucked. You spicy little dickhead. Right, we're gonna, ah, another recruit grenade there. Nice, nice. That makes Glitch a happy little warbot. Okay, let's go grab that atomic health after all. <laughs> kind of glad we're gonna use it actually. Get out of here. Right. Nice. Yoink. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the... Was it the shrapnel cannon? I guess from Unreal Tournament. Hmm. Yeah. Also, it is apparently quite difficult these days to find someone that has experience with micro soldering. Now, I'm not having a knock at anybody because I'm no good at it myself, but you would have th it seems soldering is one of those skills that seems to have fallen uh, by the wayside a little bit, which I suppose, you know, with electronics and whatnot these days, uh, nothing's actually designed to be repaired. In fact, most companies actively prohibit it. It's such a shame. Anyway, especially in Cornwall. You know, I can find people up the line that do it, but ugh, that gets messy. Okay. The less I have to... Ooh, nice. The less I have to worry about getting uh, packages shipped long distances, the better. Uh, should we destroy this stuff? I mean, I guess we could do. No point in not destroying it, I guess. Yeah, still not happy with how powerful this laser is. Is there nothing in these? Yeah, there might not be anything in these, but it's worth... It's worth having a fiddle. And that's what she said. Ooh, nice. Coins. Give me the coins. Anything else? Yeah, destroy all this computer stuff, because it all contains 
Valuable coins. I say that, but it doesn't actually seem to um, contain that many coins. Yeah, because I've been thinking quite a bit recently about what direction I want to take this channel. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously going to be a little bit of everything on this channel because that's just the way it is. Uh, but I am thinking more and more of just going, staying to the retro stuff, to be honest. Because, you know, when a big game comes out, uh, I don't know, uh, like, you know, if Sony brings out a brand new game or something, you know, everybody covers it. There's like 682,000 channels just cover the shit out of it. But a lot of the retro uh, YouTubers that I've noticed, at least the ones, because, you know, I, d I don't watch a lot of YouTube anymore due to time, but I have noticed that a lot of uh, these retro YouTubers, uh, most of them that I used to watch seem to have stopped, you know, due to this, that, or something else. Now, I know a lot of people just like to play the games that are popular, but I'm kind of happy where my channel is, you know? So, I think I am going to just stick, like, 90% with the old retro stuff. Uh, and then and to that end, I want some nice uh, modded consoles, modded Xbox and a modded uh, Dreamcast, really. Because ReDream is a fantastic Dreamcast emulator, but I've noticed a couple of games now where the sound just isn't quite right. And like I say, if I was playing that myself, I wouldn't give a shit, but if you're doing it on YouTube, you kind of want to get everything as perfect as you can. Anyway, enough about that. Let's keep pushing forwards. The only trouble with these mods is they're exceedingly expensive. Um, which is why I want to get someone that's good at soldering. Because it's the sort of thing that if you buy one of these mods, yeah, you don't want to fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have thought about having to go myself, but my soldering skills are very basic. Let's just say that. You can solder wires together, and that's about it. Uh, micro soldering is definitely not in my bag. Okay, so this area is hard. This area is very heavy. Now you notice in the middle, there's two spawners. There's a reason there's two spawners. Ah, I might capture this dude. Because we're going to need the health. Yes, okay, we just hit him. Right, okay, cool. So you can start charging me up. Uh, we're going to want the control tether and an EMP charge. Can you not kill my friend, please? I need him. And I need you. But I only need you for a little bit. Oh, I actually powered my friend down. That's unfortunate. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go. My assignment is to help Glitch get out of here. Sorry if this upsets you, dude. Right, cool. Okay. Dude, I wouldn't if I was you. It's not a battle you're going to win, I say, as I get stuck in the scenery. Alright, let's go. Now, what do we need this guy for? We need this guy to push a button. A single button. But it is an important button. You know, all buttons in these games are important. We need to push that one there to activate the elevator. Oh, much better. Right, okay, that's fine. Let's get out of here. How's Glitch feeling? Oh, Glitch is like, really not fantastic, actually. That sucks. I'm not sure why, to be honest. Um, what? He just one-shotted me. I didn't know that was possible. I mean, I knew these guys were powerful. But I, I uh, didn't think he was going to be one-shotting me. That's savage. Oh, dude. Okay, this is bad. 
This is really bad. Um, you need to die. Yeah, that that was not good. That is how not to do this level. Um, shit. Yeah, this bit is really, really uh, tricky to say the least. Oh, I mean. I guess these guys didn't wake up, which was really strange. Um, hmm. As much as I want that guy, it's probably not worth it. Now, I wonder if I can actually go... Oh, actually, you know what? There we go. Let's get two of these guys to heal. And then... Let's try something a little bit different. Let's kill you and you like that. Ah, of course you're still here. Right, let's go see in a minute if I can go back to the barter droids and buy some more Um, some more friend friend or foe grenades what, what are they actually called? I can't remember now recruit grenades, there we go yeah let's go see if we can get a couple more of those because potentially we could be a little bit sneaky here get the fuck out of here, seriously don't know what you think you're going to accomplish uh, sweet fuck all apparently uh, you got nothing. Alright. Cool. Right, okay. Now we have our two healers over here, which apparently they can't open doors. Oh. Is there only one? Yeah, we might only have one. Alright, that's... Yeah, that's a little bit sucky. Now, I don't actually know if we can go all the way back, to be honest. Ah, oh, there's our other friend. We grab... Oops. No, I don't think we can go back. I think it's like one of those rare occasions in Glitch uh, where you can't actually go back. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll just have to make do with what we've got then, won't we? Arse cakes. All right, dude, I'm going to need you to come follow me. Come on. I need you to follow me this way. Oh, wait. No, the other one is still stuck down there. Shit. That's fine. All right. Well, that's fine. We'll just we'll just have to get creative then, I suppose. We'll leave him back there, and if we get really badly damaged, we we know where he is. Um. Okay. Do we need? Yeah, we will take those, I suppose. No point leaving them behind. Now, I was really hoping. Yes, got him. Lovely. Alright. This is still going to be painful. This is going to be really painful. Yeah, we're getting hammered. We are getting so hammered. Yeah. Yeah, this bit is... Oh, God, this bit is so savage. Right, well, I guess we've got another one. Oh, come on. Okay, I don't know why <laughs> we weren't locking on there. I have no idea why that wasn't working. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I guess we're going to keep our recruiter grenade. Yeah, this is where the game uh, gets absolutely freaking brutal. It's We're so close to the end now. And it has stopped giving any fucks. You get absolute minimum health, minimum ammo. And you just have to fight through waves and waves and waves and waves of enemies. With really bad... Um, really bad checkpoints. 
so yeah uh, I mean it's hard it's definitely not impossible but it, it's very very difficult uh, did we destroy oh, this laser I hate the fact this laser has to recharge well I guess it's not the fact that it has to recharge that bothers me it's the fact that it recharges so barking slowly for what it is uh, hopefully this health is still here yes it is cool all right well that helps us out a little bit i suppose um let's see what we can do here maybe this recruiter grenade of ours just needs to be used at the right opportunity the thing is this mission isn't very challenging really it's just this particular bit because you have got to capture an enemy droid um yeah you have to capture one of these guys whilst you're being shot at by everything it is a little on the savage side but there we go right that's that room pacified for now it also really helps if you kind of memorize everywhere where you leave health behind because oh my god guys you're going to want to remember things like that. Little details like where you left all of the health. Very important. Okay. Come on. Let's get those shells in there. Car, oh, you dickhead. Yeah. Alright, let's get you down. Let's, must destroy these gun turrets. These gun turrets are evil. And you better believe they can go suck a cock. Right. Uh, the Ripper is kind of a useless weapon, actually. Okay, they're all in here. Of course they're all in here. They're all in here. Ow. Alright, okay. You can piss off, dude. Okay, okay. I think we're back to normality. Kind of about as normal as it gets anyway it's absolute chaos oh a recruit grenade okay things might have just got a little bit easier in that next room dude not happening you can go suck a big fat cock and you for that matter right one gone Need to get there before they start respawning. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I really hate these things. They're so annoying. They're probably the worst enemy to have. Just limitless quantities of them spawning. Right, you're on my side. Come on. Come on. Yes, got him. Okay, now if we can just get him too. Happy days. Alright. Okay. <sighs> now that's how you do it. It's painful, but it works. And as long as it works, that's the only thing that matters. Right, cool. Uh... We do, yeah, there's a lot of EMP grenades around. Uh, and that is definitely an option that you can go down. Uh, a path you can go down, I should say. But it's, yeah, whilst everything's shooting at you and you're trying to hock EMP grenades around and capture these guys, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. It's definitely not optimal. Let's just go that far. But... Ah, why are you not a friendly? That's curious. Well. Okay. It doesn't matter. Right. Now, if you could be good enough to stand there for a minute, my friend. I'm going to take control of your body. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? I don't know why these guys are just spawning in. I'm pretty sure they shouldn't be. Ow. 
Right, that gun turret's gone. There's another gun turret down there, which we will destroy. And, I don't know if anybody noticed, but there is a chip there. Is it a chip that we're going to get? Mm, maybe. Oh, let's go see. Always freaks me out every time we kind of like wake up from that to see that we have no health. Yeah, you would have thought this rocket launcher is a homing launcher. Uh, it kind of is, but there is a but, a big but. It has to uh, hit the target first, like the main rocket has to hit a target and then the um, little rockets will guide in on whatever target the main one hit but they won't home unless a rocket finds its target the main rocket finds its target which kind of sucks but anyway that's the end of that mission not too bad it's not too bad when you do it you know correctly I don't know how that mission took that long to complete but there we are so anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time